Hi everyone, I'm David from Edge Impulse, and today I want to introduce you to a new board that recently arrived on my desk called the Rubik Pi 3. This is a board built by Thundercom, and it's an affordable way to get started developing with Qualcomm Dragonwing SOCs. Let's do an unboxing to see what's inside, take a close look at the board, and get Edge Impulse running on it so that we can get started with AI the easy way. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we've got inside here. I kind of like the minimal packaging. It's pretty neat. Get it opened up. And we start off with some stickers. All right. Awesome. We've got a warranty card, I believe. Oh, safety and usage instructions. Okay, I'll be safe. And a getting started guide, a quick start guide. Looks like it labels the ports and what type of power it needs. And then we've got the board. Let's get this out of here. And we can take a closer look at the ports and features. Okay, so now that we've got the board out, let's take a closer look at it. Let's start off with the front ports here. We've got a USB-C. This is where the power supply is gonna be attached. So that's where your power adapter will plug in. You have an HDMI output. That's a 4K HDMI out. You have gigabit ethernet a pair of USB 3.0 ports, a USB 2.0 port, and another USB-C port. And this is an input port that's used for programming the board or flashing an OS to the device. And the last one on this side is the audio output jack. Coming around to the left side of the board, I can see a micro USB input, and that's for your serial connection, so you can debug what's going on via serial. You've also got an RTC battery input there, so that you can maintain the clock. You've got, on the back side, a 40-pin GPIO header, similar to a standard Raspberry Pi or Jetson Nano or other single board computers. You have a fan header, so if you're gonna be running in a hot environment, you can attach a heat sink and fan. Right hand side has cam one and cam two CSI camera inputs. And when we flip it over, we've got an M.2 slot for additional storage in SSD or NVMe format. But let me come back to the front side and we'll talk about this SOM complex that's uh, soldered down onto the board. So the SOM consists of the SOC, which is the Qualcomm QCS6490. There's eight gigs of RAM under this heat spreader. And this right here is your UFS storage. That's 128 gigs, which is pretty sizable in the single board computer space. Taking a closer look at the Qualcomm Dragonwing QCS6490, this is an eight core processor, four Cortex-A78 cores and four Cortex-A55 cores. It's also got an Adreno GPU and VPU, and most importantly for us, a 12 tops NPU. That's what we'll make use of for Edge AI acceleration. Now at this point, I've hooked up a USB keyboard and mouse, attached HDMI, and let's go ahead and plug in the board. When we do that, we get a green LED on the right hand side, but it's not actually powered on and booting yet. We've got to press this front power button. When we do that, we'll get a flashing green LED over on the left hand side. And if we give this just a moment or so, it'll boot up into a desktop environment. Now, it is a pretty minimal desktop. The only thing it has is a terminal. There's some sample applications installed, but for Edge Impulse and what we're gonna be doing today, this will be just fine. Let me actually grab the HDMI output and feed it into the laptop so that we can get a better view. Okay, over on my laptop now, I've got the Rubik Pi website pulled up. And you can go through here, and they've got documentation, links to purchase, some of the features and some good information, some of the ports and things that we've already gone over. 
But what I'm gonna do next is actually jump over to the Edge Impulse documentation, and I'm gonna do a quick search, and I'm gonna type in RB3. And the reason for that is because at the moment, we already support the Qualcomm Dragonwing RB3 Gen 2 dev kit. Now this uses the same 6490 SOC that's found on the Rubik Pi. So as I scroll down, I can come to a point where we see installing the Edge Impulse Linux CLI. And these two commands right here are what we need to install Edge Impulse on this Rubik Pi. It works essentially the same. So I'll pause the video while I grab these commands, come over to the Rubik Pi, and type them in. All right, we've got the command typed in now. We can go ahead and run that wget and then launch the script. Mine went pretty quick here because I've already run this once while I was testing. When you run it for the first time, it will download all of the dependencies and unpackage everything, so it might take a moment. But once it's complete, we can then run Edge Impulse Linux and it'll ask us to log in. Finally, you can then choose a project. Select a microphone if you need one, and choose a camera. At that point, we're connected to Edge Impulse, and I'll switch screens one more time to show you what it looks like in the studio now. Okay, now I'm logged into the Edge Impulse Studio, and I've selected the same project called Fruit. I click on Devices, and I see that I have a Qualcomm Rubik Pi 3 that's connected to Edge Impulse. I can go to Data Acquisition, and I can see a live camera feed. You can see our Rubik Pi down here. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you that we've already built a functioning model, and I'm gonna go through to Deployment. We do have lots of tutorials and demos available if you need some more information on how to go through the model creation, but I'm gonna skip ahead here in this video and come over here to deployment. You can type in the target that you're looking for. I'm gonna grab the Qualcomm QNN Accelerated model and click on build which will go through the build process and then download the artifact to the local laptop, or you can go ahead and download it directly from the Rubik Pi, which is where I'll take us next. Okay, so here's our setup for the moment. We've got this USB webcam pointing straight down at this Apple. To begin inference, all we need to do is launch Edge Impulse Linux Runner, give it just a moment to start up, and it'll begin performing object detection on the view from the camera. We can see here in the CLI that it's finding an apple, but if we go and check in a browser, we can see right away the camera view and the apple being identified. So that's gonna do it for this video. Let's wrap it up and take one last look at the board. So there you have Edge Impulse running accelerated on the Hexagon NPU of the QCS 6490 powered Rubik Pi 3. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.